Every great plan starts with one bad idea. Ours? Fly drone upside down, on purpose, in a public park. This is me, Zoe FPV, pilot, engineer, full-time mad scientist. And that's Tay Tay, my co-pilot for chaos. He's cool, calm, and collected, and the perfect wingman. Objective? Field test a fresh 3D rig. We had a plan, a park. This rig's got BlueJay ESC firmware and brand new GemFan 3.5 inch 3D propellers. Cute, right? Until they try to slice reality in half. First, we warm up and fly without 3D. Make sure nothing explodes when we ask the drone to do upside down cartwheels. Then we hit 3D and your instincts scream, nope. Tay took a few warm up laps on his own rig. Clean, calm, and controlled. Just enough finesse to make it look easy, even without flipping a single propeller upside down. Want to try Blue Jay with 3D yourself? Well, stay tuned and we'll walk you through the setup in this video. Let's pause. Not bad. So, we have a brand new Tattoo 4S pack, 850 Ma, on this. We're going to try this out in 3D for the first time. Hopefully, it works. You can find my settings for Blue Jay and for Betaflight on my Discord, link on my website. Website is here or somewhere or down there. I don't know, zoefpv.com, just go there. Um, but yeah, let's uh, take off and have some fun. And we're up. Okay, let's test out this thing in 3D mode. Okay, that's pretty good. Happy with it so far. Know what? That's pretty smooth. So yeah, these are new settings, a combination of a couple people on my Discord and myself testing stuff. You know what? So far, so really good. What the heck? This is really smooth. Um, huh. So my journey with Blue Jay has been kind of shoddy. Um, I spent a lot of time and a lot of failure trying to get to work. Um, every machine's different what settings I use may not work for you, which means you'll have to figure it out. And not every machine will be able to do it with motors and whatnot, depending on how you have things set up. But so far, I would say this is good. Now, I've had this experience before with Blue Jay feeling really good, but then every once in a while, it'll have a desync. And that's that every, you know, one out of 100 that has me going WTF. Um, the other thing is that AM32 just works. Um, like, AM32 has no problems. You don't have to do any setup. You don't have to configure it per machine. Um, and it is smoother than Blue Jay. But I will say, this is, you know, not bad. I would give this like four and a half out of five stars. Um, and I'm very shocked and surprised that it's flying as good as it is. And it's as smooth as it is. Like, you should probably see my DVR feed. There's a little judder here and there, but it's mostly prop wash, not the 3D propeller changing. Like, that was really smooth. Getting a little more confident with it. So far, so good, you know? Maybe these are the settings. So the big thing is that we have motor startup minimum set to 1280, or sorry, 1080, from the default of 1030. Then we have maximum startup set to 1300. Basically, you max it out to allow the motor to have as much power as it needs to start and stop spinning. That makes the biggest difference with Blue Jay, but you also have to be careful because it will make your motors a little bit more warm. Um, and 3D in general is going to make your motors a lot hotter. That was fun. So yeah, if I get a little on it, it's got a little bit of a shutter. But you know, it's not bad. I'd say this is, dare I say, flyable and enjoyable. But AM32 is just like buttery smooth compared to this. Um, but after people constantly asking me, hey, Zoe, uh, Blue Jay, Blue Jay? And after many failures, I just told people, no, I'm sorry, you have to use AM32 or do the old Heli 32 if you still have it. Um, but yeah, you know what? 
If you're willing to potentially burn out motors like I did to try to find these settings, and you're willing to put up with a random desync every once in a while, potentially, you know what? That's pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna fly another pack on this, have some fun. Honestly, I love this little thing. I love three and a half inch 3D. Like this is the future of 3D. And honestly, while well, five inches figured out, we have some amazing new five inch propellers from Gemfan. Being small is fun. Oh yeah, this thing's awesome. Oh, oh. Yeah, no, okay. Blue Jay, Blue Jay gets my stamp of approval. So far, so good, honestly. Things a lot of fun to fly. It feels like a five inch without it being a five inch. You know, you get that like sub 250, like safety factor without the uh, sub 250 feel. And honestly, I feel like that is such a win, especially now more than ever. Having this means you can fly around people, environments, objects, without really having to worry about it too much, right? Your battery's starting to get low. Okay, let's bring her on in. Hey, ice cream truck. Want to get some ice cream? Yeah. Let's go to some ice cream. Now they think we're stopping for ice cream. We're not getting ice cream. I'm so sorry. 